What's going on, YouTube? It's the Bad Wolf. It is Sunday, and I'm uh, going for a little drive. Uh, so I believe this is my first time doing a little video from... White Wolf. It's my little lady. So, I don't even know. Like, we could talk about right to travel, we could talk about all these things. So, one of the first things I guess I want to say is um, don't forget to check me out on my other YouTube channels. You can find out which all ones I have by going to Black Slide 32 and going to the uh, social media page on Black Slide. It's the actual page I set up so you can see which platforms that are I have that are legit. People have been trying to scam using my name and whatever else. I didn't think it was that serious, but I guess it is to some people out there. Um, so, in general, these Right to travel, remember, one thing with that, I'm just going to kind of cover a couple things, just going to clear up the brain a little. You have to make sure that you create a private trust, all right? Cancel all the contracts and create your plates. Go to your legislative website for your state, download their, their um, statutes, codes, rules, and regulations. Now, they're going to try to make it very difficult to understand and decipher what it is, but you have to look up underneath um, foreign registered vehicles. You're going to have to look up um, non-resident aliens or non-residents in vehicles. Find their code, use it, create it. Create an affidavit that says that you are not a resident with your name, with your given name, or your name in all lowercase lettering. Uppercase, all uppercase is commercial. Upper and lower is what they're trying to swing to on your your various things, but the problem is, is that that's illegal. They can't just convert you into a person. They don't, by law, constitution, they don't have jurisdiction over the living person unless you're doing a crime. So what they're doing is they're starting to do criminal stuff. Well, <laughs> not starting to do it, but I'll okay. we'll leave that one alone for now. Um, but um, once you, once your trust or your nation or whatever owns your vehicle, it is a foreign registered vehicle. Now, there's no law that says, hey, if you want to still occupy, by yourself, I guess, if you will, or accommodate or operate yourself is a better word, as a resident, okay, so you're the resident, fine, no problem with that, I operate as a non-resident, but as a resident, you don't own the vehicle, the vehicle is privately owned, so they can't ticket or tow the vehicle, not legally or lawfully especially, um, if they pull you over for a minor thing and you still have a, you're considered a resident, uh, then they'll say, well, I, I can find your name in the system and you were speeding. So they'll try to base it on that. But if you don't have a license, you have no agreement with the state of, or the states of, for that. And we've already had people get their cases thrown out in court because your vehicle's in the trust, it's privately owned. I would create an affidavit um, stating that you are a non-resident. Have that in a vehicle, have it notarized, that way you get a ticket based off of your old identity or even your concurrent identity as a resident of the state. You can say, well, I was operating in private capacity. There you have it. But you have to put all your things in private. It hasn't been bad. There's only a handful of people who've been like, oh, well, they still did this and still did that because you're not fighting back and you're not closing. Now, I'm not saying fight back in a belligerent way, but in a professional, non-belligerent, non-combatant way. Okay? So, and 
as Bruce Lee said, the art of fighting without fighting. So you're fighting, but you're not fist fighting. You're being smarter about what you're doing. Um, otherwise, yeah, things have been pretty smooth. Uh, I now have a editable version of the Irrevocable Trust. So for people who want to create an Irrevocable Trust, um, you want to title it underneath your nation title. Remember, never put anything in your in your name, your legal name, either a given name or a completely um, thought created, generated name. You can use numbers, letters, symbols, anything that you want to do to make it unique. That's what you want to do. You don't want to use anything legal, especially your legal first name legal last name, even going like Smith family, that's not different enough, all right? And it's not to say that even if you do everything right, that you might not have some overstepping cop who doesn't know constitutional law or what's really going on. Like the last time I got bothered, uh, they basically tried to ignore my information. It was like, I am. So I called their commanding officer while they had me pulled over. Now it wasn't funny anymore, okay? Because now they realize, oh, this guy knows what he's doing, and he's not prepared to be just bothered, okay? And I told the commanding officer, my vehicle's in a trust. They can't take it, tow. They have no warrant for me or my vehicle. So, thanks for playing. But if they do, like I said, you can either send the tickets back the proper way, refused. I would send it back with a letter and copy of your trust. You know, acknowledgement of trust. Don't send the whole trust. I mean, you're private. And a lot of people out there aren't sending the chief of police and the governor their affidavits, letting them know that they're private, their vehicle, and all other stuff. And so, like I made in my other video, you definitely want to send the DOT and the headquarters for the DMV a copy of your vehicle being private. And I think I have this on Black Side 32 and the free doc page, I'm not sure. But you're going to inform them that not only is it a private trust, but you're exporting it into either your nation or to the trust or to a foreign nation. Now, do you have to do that part? No, but I definitely would because now you're, you've covered all your bases. I mean, that legally, that's all you can do. I mean, that's it. So we've had lots of successes across the board. I don't normally bring them up. I'm not going to go into all of them now. But it's not something that we need to necessarily rub in their face. A lot of people want to, oh, yeah, I want to. And thank you for the emails letting me know that you guys have used the process, used the materials, you've, you know, whatever, whatever. And, um, you know, you guys have been successful. So thank you for that. Thank you for the people who reached out and said, hey, this has changed their life, um, saved their life. Uh, you know, helped friends and family. The lady said she got her granddaughter back into her life and the um, her grandkids, she got them back from certain people, we'll just say. So I put the information out there as tools and you guys can decide where and how you guys want to use them, okay? I don't know all the processes, so I'm going to quote from, like, Yusuf L. here. Um, don't bother people like me, him, and other people with other people's processes. They're not all the same. There's methods to each different person's madness, if you will, on why it's legit. The biggest thing you can do is take the information for yourself, get it from us or whoever, vet the information, and then um, ensure that you guys vet the information for yourselves because you're the ones that are going to have to live with it and how you move. So you definitely want to make sure that you understand it, not just, oh, I downloaded it and I'm going to start using it or, you know, whatever else. You know, you have to be able to stand on the information and why you feel that it's this way and be able to say, this, these laws are what back up and support it. Yeah, a little good.
get up and go here. Rear end just let loose. I was like, oh, chill out a little bit. <laughs> so, um, what else we have going on? Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be working on the new channels. Um, I will still be on the main channel, which this video will be on. And I'm going to start talking about other things just to open people's minds up because there's a lot of stuff that, um, you know, people aren't really, they're not, I guess you could say they don't want you to know, but it's not so much that they don't want you to know. They don't mind you knowing, but what they want is, is for you to once again not rub it in their face. What they want you to do is to operate in the private. So one of the reasons why they have a problem with this type of information, what we're doing, is because obviously it is private, and they control the public. And if you're pulling people and things from out of the public to the private, they look at it as a threat. Now, keep in mind, though, that there are people out there who... Are, op are operating in fact as the S word, okay? And most of the time it's because they don't know how to operate commercially, properly, and privately, okay? You have to know how to operate in the commercial circuit if you choose to properly or in the private. You don't wanna mix the public and the private for one. Okay, because then by, what is it, lowest common kind of denominator, it pulls you back into the public, and then you look like a sovereign citizen. Now, there are some people out there who are literally operating that way. They know they are, and they don't care, and they're just like, F the GOV. Well, we're all here to do business or to be, or, or not. That's it. You know? So, if you choose to contract and do business, then know what it is and, to, and move accordingly. There's nothing wrong with it at all. I don't necessarily care for a lot of it, but that, that's just me. You guys can do what you want to do. So for me, private is the way to go. I got into this, you know, years ago, kind of, I don't know, I guess by accident, because I, I don't seem to enjoy it. I like my privacy. Um, I like to not be bothered. I like to have big state and big government and whoever else out of my business unless I choose to contract with them for certain services. So that's how it's always supposed to be. That's how the Founding Fathers really wanted us all to be. But the Beast, the DC Beast, decided, hey, I like how this uh, power tastes. And the system itself, made up of multiple organizations all under one maritime flag with gold fringes, owned and operated by, you know, three different distinct uh, nations, not from here through that particular district um you know yeah i can't say i man i wouldn't mind having that kind of power either you know but um so the big thing is here is, is, is there's a difference between the united states and america the supreme court ruled that the united states meaning the corporation located in dc as the debtor under ucc 9-307 is in fact foreign in relationship to the united states of america okay so the U.S. citizen is something different than a national and state citizen. The term uh, citizen of the United States refers to all of the various entities that are here lawfully, that are entitled to be here, but it really should only apply to the national and the state citizen, though they've been combining the terms all in the one. So that's one of the reasons why I still bring up specifically state citizen and national. State citizen is kind of outplayed. They don't really use it a whole lot anymore. And national is still there. They're all still there. But the big states and the big gov, they try to ignore or, uh, you know, downplay it because they don't have control over those things. So they're not going to talk about those things have to drive kind of a little bit more focused. We got uh, the 120th Harley uh, anniversary. So we've got thousands, tens of thousands of people up here uh, operating on their bikes. Some a little, most of 
most of them are usually pretty good, but it's a super loud event. So if you're not used to loud noise, you're not gonna wanna be up here in the Midwest while with all this going on. I'm sure I got enough gas. I haven't even checked on that. Okay, I'm good. So, what else do we have going on? Um, you know, normal goods, bads, ups, downs, whatever else. Um, if you couldn't tell, uh, back to being single, it is what it is. Um, I wish the uh, last two uh, lovely ladies of my life uh, success and happiness and still good friends with one of them, so that's cool. The other one, uh, who knows? Maybe we'll be friends again in the future, whatever. Um, everybody needs to outgrow their skin and uh, leave behind the ego and... and, and uh, toxicity that you get from being with other people you know anytime you're calling people names and whatever else and not helping them to grow through their pain and suffering and you know whatever else then you haven't quite evolved to a, a more spiritual level and that's kind of where I'm at now I'm, I'm really over like the whole you know physical I gotta have you know all this material objects and whatever else Everybody else is speeding. I guess I'll speed too. Not too much. Um, so, but yeah, it's whatever. Like I said, nothing negative, positive light and energy to everybody. And to the people who always reach out to me every day for e emails, whatever. Like I said, they're you know, I don't mind one or two here and or there, but that doesn't mean every day. So I will not be answering a whole lot of emails anymore. Just the people keep abusing it. Um, I can't step you through, you know your daily lives with this stuff. I mean, nobody stepped me through. I had to learn it and then do it and get that ticket. Get my car towed the first two times I was out there. Also, to be honest, not operating privately and properly in the commercial world. Um, so if you want a couple of questions answered, Hit the black site. I think it's like 20 bucks for like three, maybe four answers. To quick blurbs. This, this, this. Like I said, on the occasion, I might still answer one or two. But it'll be quick. Because um, I just want to spend more time reading with family and being able to make more videos. You know, sitting down and answering three or four hours worth of uh, free emails doesn't keep the lights on. And to be honest, you know, and I love you guys, but like, um, I've only had like probably like five donations in the last month, you know what I mean? And contrary to what some people believe, like, you don't make a ton of money on YouTube unless you've got like, there, let me let this guy in. Um, you know, somewhere around 100,000 subscribers, okay? Then you're making decent money where, you know, you know just to keep it honest with you guys, um, so some money is coming in there, just keep it cheap. Uh, but like I said, I still do the consultations and sell the files. That's where, you know, majority of it comes in from. So watch out for a lot of these, you know, gurus and things of that nature. You definitely want to make sure that you vet all of your information you want to take your time and not do everybody's processes just because they're out there to be done a lot of them are just looking for YouTube gold clicks and this and that then they fade away or because everybody doesn't get caught doing their process they think that it's it worked okay I happen to know from doing this for so many years now that a lot of those things, yeah, they sneak by. And don't try to do something to get it snuck by. Like, literally, if you can't do something and stand on it, and it's repeatable, and it's legal and lawful, then you really shouldn't be doing it. Just coming from somebody, to be honest, once again, I ran with people who were doing these things. I was starting to do these things and not just vet the information. And I almost got into so much trouble. That's why right now, I'll deal with like, you know, status, standing, trusts, things like that nature, but these financial processes, we're like, oh, I'm gonna try to get all this money back. No, or I'm gonna, B 
be careful with that. Contact the agencies that you're getting these files from and say, hey, can I use these files for this purpose? That's what they are for. Um, and if the agent doesn't know, you think that they're, you know, BSing, try to talk to the manager above them. Now, it's not to say that some of these processes may be the, um, maybe they truly don't know how to even use their own forms. We've seen that, okay? But I'm just saying I would prefer to get a confirmation from them. So get that agent's name, um, agent number, the manager, whoever else, all that, and then some to make sure that you're doing things the correct way and that if you do get into trouble, you can say, hey, well, I called the agency and so-and-so said I could do this. Now you're safe. Now you've got, you know, insurance on the very processes that you're, you're doing. I right, to get the window up. I'm sorry, it's probably, the, probably got a little loud. I got the AC on, but I like the, um, I like to feel the wind on me. From all the years I used to have my motorcycle, we used to have a Hayabusa back in the day. Man, that thing was fast and fire. Um, so upcoming things, we're gonna start to look at. I got a ton of books I'm gonna start reading. I've only been able to get one or two books in lately. So I'm trying to take time to get the house done, yard. I had to work on my health a little bit, sitting and just reading and eating and not going out, not being energetic, uh, you know, kind of takes a toll on you, especially after the whole COVID, COV ID 19, um, kind of did some damage on your boy, so I had to get that all back, just about back to full recovery, and um, Sometimes you just also need to take time for yourself to be just an individual person and go out and just breathe and just see the world and, and um, you know, instead of reading about the world, you got to be a part of the world. So, uh, but yes, we will be getting into the federal rules of civil procedure. Now, this is where, these are Article Three courts from the federal district court up where your rights and your freedoms are actually in play, okay? The lower courts that you normally go to are Article One. These are legislative, they are not judicial, okay? Unless the judge is specifically doing something judicial. Um, otherwise, he's in private capacity. Now, if you didn't watch the, bill, the video I made on asking them or requesting for your bill of particulars, you know, you want an itemized list of, you know, what damage did I do? What exact laws and codes did I break? Okay? So, we will be, well, once I finish the book, I will be doing video on how to do it yourself, how to put it in, and how to handle it yourself. So, we will be doing that. That'll be huge, because then you can go after these corporations and municipalities and whatever else. Um, we're also going to be doing some seminars where on a Sunday or a Monday for two, three hours, I'm going to try to have three, one, two, three, four different things where we're going to talk about whether it's court, uh, you know, and this will all be on my uh, seminar page on Black Side 32. So go back every once in a while and check on that to see if I've started listing the when the seminars are and which will be, what things will be in that particular seminar. Don't forget the donation page is also on Black Site 32, so you guys can uh, send a little love my way if you guys so choose. Um, I will also be on A6 Grind Time probably probably tonight, which is Sunday. He's on every Sunday. I think it's uh, 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock uh, Eastern. You're going to hear some of the Harleys. I'm sitting next to a couple of them right now. There you go. Um... So what else do we turn this guy's music up? So what else do we have? What do we have here now? What else is going on? So yeah, we got the seminars, and I'll probably be doing those once or twice a month. And we will just cover, you know, various topics, you know, dealing with court, um, dealing with challenging the a contract, YouTube uh, algorithm. Um, basically everything on my channel, 
I'm gonna have, you know, and then I might have some experts on, you know, in other areas like health and this and that and whatever. Um, so shout out to my boy Fearless Floyd out there and uh, La Khalifa County out there in California. A little love out to my son, Mr. Perseus. Appreciate you, love you, big guy. Um, shout out to everybody really who's been supportive of the channel. So I will be continuing to do more events on YouTube and bring you guys more information. Going through some construction here. Um, so, um, otherwise, I've been pretty good. Just uh, so you guys have to understand that after a while, see, I, I've given you guys all the knowledge I now know off the top of my head. And so from here, I have to read more things, learn and vet the information. I've already started this process, but now I have to wait for some of the things I've done out there to come back. Some of the FOIA requests, um, those are a little dodgy. At least they are with me and giving me certain information, we'll just say. Um, but um, got, some other, got some things in the fire. Just waiting to hear back from the various governments agencies, states, ofs, and whatever else, uh, a lot of times, I don't hear back from these people, so they, they just gotta go, oh, hey, it's, either they go, oh, it's this guy, or, they're, or you get the, well, uh, we are not a public thing, which some of them aren't, some of these municipalities, corporations are not public, so they are not subject to FOIA requests, all right, so that's a thing, too. Got a construction. Um, yeah. So anyway, I just I didn't really have anything specific that I jumped on here to do. Just kind of wanted to hit you guys up with while I'm traveling and uh, just kind of touch base. Get some air. Uh, yes, yeah, so everything you guys have should be in a private trust with a private name. And got to check the sites out. But, um, yeah, so, uh, let's see. Off the top, I think that's really about it. I don't think of anything else we covered recently. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, all right, guys, I'm going to conclude the video. Thanks for watching. Um, I've uploaded some videos this week, and I will be uploading some more soon. I'm going to try to get back to doing it twice a month instead of once a month. Uh, I just don't want to overwhelm you guys with lots of videos that, uh, you know, aren't packed with information that you need. I can make lots of videos just on anything in general, but that's... It's no fun, you know. I mean, I guess it'd be good for making money and impressing YouTube on that's right places. Big time drill. Okay, a couple of people's in there. Right, everybody's out and about Sunday. All right, all right. Cool, cool. Nice. So, right at the store. Should get out and socialize a little bit more. Just like to be private so much. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm social at night when I, you know, toss one one back. So I'll have to turn that to a little ice cream, please. Okay. Going through some of the old stomping grounds, kind of seeing what's going on in the world. Like I said, I'm mostly in the house. You know, reading books, playing video games, just... I guess the big thing is, is that and it's kind of catch-22, because you can't really meet a whole lot of good, nice, new people if you don't get out to meet people. Um, but so many people are on this whole... Like, I was out the other night, and uh, so there was like, I'm offended by 
your terminology. I look like I care. I don't care much how you feel about a word I use. That's you. You can leave or you bestow that feeling of that in there. I don't like a lot of words that people have used or still use or whatever else, but I don't sit here and go, oh, you know what? I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to go all the way down. Check that here. Let's see what my peoples are doing. Um, that's for you. That's a you issue. You need to control your... If they're not touching you or making you feel physically uncomfortable by, you know, being at you, then that is a you thing. You need to address you and handle yourself. The world is way too sensitive these days on things. You can be sensitive, but I don't have to accommodate you. Because I don't expect anybody to accommodate me. There's no law that, that protects your feelings or, or any of that. So... Um, otherwise, we have had so many wins with right to travel, court, and whatever else. I am, it is amazing. Like I said, I know because they, there's remedy there. They have, they can't keep, if you do things right and you stop operating with the social security number and the, um, legal name, all right, they don't have jurisdiction over you as long as you have not committed a crime or you deprive somebody else of their personal rights, freedoms, and to operate. And that is enforced by the Constitution for the United States of America. That is how it works. That is why they dang near want to kick you out of the courtroom when you mention the Constitution. Alright. They get irate when it comes to that. Let's see if any of my peoples are out people, but not my peoples. Um, so, yeah, that's basically about it. Alright, guys. So like I said before, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for supporting. Please continue to support. Um, it does mean a lot. And I do see your names and you guys pop up as hitting the likes and subscribe and all that good stuff. So, um, you guys are not faceless you know, things for me. Um, like I said, I never expected to get here. You guys are literally helping me to, you know, do what I enjoy doing. So, so that I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. The bad wolf is out. So take care, travel safe, and, uh, there will be more fire videos to come. I just don't have all of them right here and, you know, to tell you what, what all I got going on because, well, I'm driving, so you should not drive distracted. But watch the videos. I'll have more coming. Talk to you guys later. Wolf's out. Woo!